hello welcome back to the channel little update guys uh we got our exotic head studs yes we're going a little different route we're not going with arps this time we are going with exotic and i'll explain why when we do that video but that's coming soon because we want to we want to bump up the power and beast 3.0 and we talked about this in a previous video this portable jump box man things clutch still got to put in the wife's car but it's fully charged and ready to go now it'll hold its charge probably for a year without even touching it today guys this is what we're installing baja designs forward lighting amber forward lighting their squadron i got from cjc off-road they sell this kit as a package on their website we're gonna head over to dirty diesels i gotta pay a bill and we're gonna throw these in if we have time hopefully we have time because i really want to install these bad boys beast 3.0 sounding good nice and clean yes i got new wheels i can't hide them any longer i was trying to keep it a secret for a while so i can talk about it but if you saw I guess maybe a video back, one video back, <laughs> we uh, I curbed two of my other wheels. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. We dialed her in, we went to a 20 by 10 wheel, and I mean 22 by 10 wheel instead of uh, the 12 wides, we went to a 10 wide. And then we're going to get taller tires because I know I was getting a lot of grief for it and I was saying it for a while. I said, I really want taller tires on this truck. It needs to fill the wheel wells better. It looks good from, head on or angle or from the rear angle but on the side profile these tires look really dinky on this truck we need to put some meat on them boys so that's what we're going to do but i'm not going to do that because these tires are freaking brand new so i'm going to get some mileage out of them and these tires are really nice i'm probably going to get the same exact tire but just in a 35 by 12 and a half by 22. back out at dirty diesels with josh and andy over there and here's what the kit looks like when you get it from CJC Off-Road. We're basically gonna convert this to like, I guess a Bighorn because this is sort of like, this is actual, these are Mopar parts right here, guys. Are they? Yeah. We're and downgrading. We're downgrading, but then we're upgrading the light. We got these brackets too. And then we have the plug and play Baja Squadron lights. So these are gonna go right here. The one thing I will miss that I'm gonna lose is the cornering lights when you're going slower, uh, at a slower speed and you're making a right turn or a left turn, a light shines up here on the side of the truck as you're turning to- You really need that too, because you have hit stuff in the hey, Listen, not going forward, backing up, backing up. But this is gonna give us a good light output all the way around, so at all times, it's gonna spread it nicely. And they have, several different options for your lighting upgrades they you got we went with amber and then they also have amber for uh, i guess it's dot compliant sae and they also have uh clear and also sae dot compliant lights as well so you got plenty of different options you can get these kits from josh josh uh is a dealer for cjc off-road right yeah so you can get them through Josh and he can install them. And this is the first time, so we're probably just gonna do one side first real quick, and then we'll show you how to do the other side because it's gonna be the same as that side. Well, if it isn't, we'll tell you. We got the driver's side done. What you're gonna wanna do is remove four 10 millimeter bolts. Man, it's tight in here. Right there's one, there's one. Up there, try to... So you're just gonna remove them and then there's five little eight millimeter nuts that you're gonna pull off the actual oh, bezel. One. And then you have your sensors there, you're gonna plug those bad boys and uh, the, you're gonna pull the bezel out. But the, the actual factory fog light assembly will come out with those guys. The bracket onto the back of the light, the squadron light there, which is gonna mount into the new fog light holder. The kit comes with this right here. This is good. That's what that's actually gonna mount into. And then here's your wiring to plug into your factory harness. Now Baja does offer, uh, if you didn't want to go with this type of bezel, they offer a smaller light that fits in there, but the lumens are a lot less and it's not I gonna have- I think it's like an S2. I can't remember which model it is. I think it's an S2. It's a lot smaller. It sort of looks silly because it doesn't fill in the whole the whole space of the factory bezel. They don't look bad though. I want more light output, not less. This 
little bit easier to put back in with the different style fog light. There's a lot more room to get to. Unplugged your factory plug from your fog light. Didn't mention that. But that's self-explanatory. Yeah, I would say <laughs> if you can't figure that out, you shouldn't do this. <laughs> right now, Josh is just pulling the sensor wires, and then we're gonna get to the eight, the five eight millimeter bolts holding the bezel in. Try to get that little Christmas tree out. Here you see there's a flat end, it's like a, a Christmas tree, almost like those uh, clips. <laughs> that actually slides into the bezel. And then you got your eight millimeter nut on the end of it. And you have to completely remove them because if not, and watch, they'll fly. <laughs> if yeah. not, you can't pull your bezel out. I think you can with the bottom ones in. It was just, I couldn't get it back in with them in. It was kind of tough. And there it is, it's out. <clears throat> the fog was going to pop up. Yeah, it was out. Yeah, yeah. It's just going to pop the... Pop the sensors out. Pop the sensor bezels out. Make sure you put pop them in. Pop the sensor bezels back in. Make sure you put them in the same spot. <laughs> So yeah, just make sure you're putting the, the right sensor in the right spot, because you have two spots. Otherwise, you'll uh, you'll have some issues. And once you get them in there, if you put them in the right spot, but incorrectly, you're gonna know, because you're not gonna Yeah, you won't be able to plug them in. I don't think they matter where they go. I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't. No? no. They might, but... Is that our food already? No. Right. Uh, Maybe it was. I, I know some Jeeps that have to be. I don't remember. They had to go in the same spot. Yeah. So we get the bezel back in place. Josh is going to put those five eight millimeter bolts or nuts back into place, rather. The next step will be to put the light. Bolt the light in. Yeah, bolt the light back into that other bracket that we have and then put that back up in there. Pretty simple. So there's the four factory bolts. Actually three, right? Well, it's, there's four in those, there's but these four, take but three. We're using three of the factory bolts from the, the factory fog light to install the Baja Designs squadron light into that bracket, which is actually a Mopar bracket. So fasten it down with the four 10 millimeter bolts. It'll sit flush up against the bezel and look nice, nice. And you will have some fine adjustability, not much, once you snug those down to move it left and right to get it sort of centered inside that there bezel. Go. Now guys, if you have a big horn, you probably won't have to do all the stuff that we did, but we had to convert our truck to like a big, big horn style. So we had to add this different bezel in here, the different bracketry behind it from Mopar but it, it, it looks good. Josh is just snugging it down, then we're gonna do the wiring, and then uh, it's pretty much, that's it. And it's, that is it. Pretty simple, something you could do at home if you wanted to, but if you didn't want to, you can come here and, and uh, have Josh do it, or you can order it through Josh and probably get it shipped to your house. So it comes with a harness adapter, and you do have to pin it. Does it say plus or not? <laughs> no. They're easy to, to redo if you have to though. So if you didn't pin it the right way, you might just have to go yeah, in there and swap. Pretty quick. See if we can show you a little better on this side. So the adapter plugs in your factory harness. And what we're talking about repinning is uh, you have a hot and a negative. You wanna make sure you get it lined up into the correct slot. Um, Which, uh, hoping that black is Black's, black's usually negative. 
usually. So it looks like you got a white and a, a black wire to the light. Usually black's negative. We're, we're, we're hoping that's it. But if not, it's, it's an easy fix. So you push the pins right. into the, the plug. And then uh, we're just going to double check before he flips this back down and locks it into yeah, place. Yeah. Nothing. I think I'll just flip this guy around. Yep. We have lights! We have lights! Ooh, they're bright. Cool. Support up there for the bumper. Looks like something, Josh. Yeah, I was gonna get, get sounded up. Just zip tied up to that thing. Yeah. Look, we're just gonna zip tie the wires up out of the way and this 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 is done. We'll have to see how they look at night. This kit is designed to run the Squadron LED lights on trucks with the factory LEDs such as Laramie or Limited models or Big Horde trucks with, equipped with the LED fog light upgrade and sensors. This kit is exclusively available through CJC Off-Road and it allows you to mount the Baja Design Squadron light in the bumper of the Laramie and Limited trim package trucks. As I just mentioned, on the heavy duty Rams. This isn't for the Ram 1500s, it's for the big boys. Instead of the small slender factory light, if you have the Tradesman or SLT, this kit will not work. The Baja Designs Fog Light Pocket is the perfect mix of high quality on and off road performance available in white or amber. This kit utilizes the factory fog pocket location to pack the squadron sport light on each side. This kit is controlled by the factory fog light switch, so it's plug and play, guys. If you're looking to not only add safety, but lighting performance, this is your kit. So specifications on the kit, guys, as a lifetime limited warranty, complete purchase protection. It's also got, I mean, you got Baja Designs, they've done their homework. They, they sell high quality products made here in the U.S., designed here in the U.S., these lights put out a massive 3,150 lumens per light. The life expectancy of the light is 49,000, almost 50,000 hours, guys. Um, the front lens is hard-coated polycarbonate. The housing's powder-coated cast aluminum, and the bezel is uh, billet machined aluminum. It's all high-quality stuff. Highly recommend it. As you can see, these lights, uh, they, kick, they kick butt. And I was going to go for it. They also offer an SAE for DOT, but I'm telling you, this is the perfect balance. I got the amber. Uh, some people prefer the, the, the white, but I, I think the amber sets it off nice and it gives a nice look to the truck. And I'm beyond happy with the performance of these lights. They got a nice light spread. They've done well in, at night in snow, uh, rain, as you can see in the video, snow. <laughs> And uh, I highly recommend them. And if you want a set of these lights uh, for your truck, your Ram HD, check out cjcoffroad.com or hit up Josh from Dirty Diesel. So he'll get you taken care of. It looks factory, don't it? It looks, it look, really looks like does. it belongs in there. So for the yellow, the yellow is going to like, oh, no one's going to recognize the yellow. But we're like, that's definitely not factory. Yeah. You like them? I do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time, make sure you smash tap, do something to that subscribe button. Make sure you check out allbeastprojects.com. That's our website. This is our merch. Well, this is old merch. We got new merch on the website. Make sure you check out beastsynthetics.com when you purchase your Amazon. For me, it helps support the channel at the same time. Sorry, this video is a little bit rushed, but Josh only has two bays and he was extremely busy and we wanted to slam through it and get it done so he can get, you know, other customers in the shop. So check out dirtydiesels.com. Anyway. Have a great day. Uh, close it out. <laughs> we'll see you on the next upload, guys. Love you.